Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So it's almost been six months since we put the conductive ink into my main computer system over here and I have to tell you guys something. It has performed amazingly. The temps haven't changed that much. Bear in mind the only things that I've really been doing on this computer is video editing and rendering. But it's just like I put it in there in day one. The temps are just fantastic. So I've got a couple tests lined up, tests that we've seen before. So the first one that I'm going to be doing is Prime 95 and then we're going to be doing the 3D Mark test and then I've got a couple of intensive games lined up and then we're going to be doing our video rendering test. So there's four tests that we can put this CPU through to see what kind of temperatures that we're getting and I'm really expecting something quite special from this because over this course of time it hasn't really changed and I definitely think that there's a lot of potential in this. So, let's go over to the computer and start our tests, specifically the Prime 95. And welcome to the computer. So I've got Prime 95 set up all ready to rock and roll, and I've got Specky on the other side of the screen so we can just keep an eye on what the temperature's at. So we're just going to start this, and we're just going to leave it to do its thing. And I'm probably going to leave this for around 20-ish minutes, minutes, just to see what sort of stuff happens. So I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit here for ages, but we'll talk about it once it's done. So after 15 minutes of running the Prime 95 test, we saw the temperatures peak at around 82 degrees Celsius. When the last time we actually tested it, we also got a result of 82 degrees Celsius at its very peak temperature. So, I don't think it's actually really changed. It's given me the same result as last time, which I think is absolutely awesome considering that we've left it for such a long time before we retested it. So, that was an awesome result. Let's go to 3D Mark and give it another test. So here we are in the 3D Mark test and I've actually already got it booted up. So what we're going to do is just allow it to do what it needs to do. And at the end of this test, it actually tells you the temperatures of your CPU. So I don't need to have Specky open in the background, which is actually quite nice. So we can actually see the entire screen. So I'm just going to let this run and I'm going to speed it up, of course. But we can talk about the results afterwards. And there we go. So the actual 3D Mark test has completed and we can see what the CPU temperature peaked at. So right about 73, it looks like it peaked at around 73 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad at all considering that our last test that we did was 69 degrees Celsius, which wasn't bad at all. And I've got that on the board, but I'm definitely going to have to double check that. So let's go into our next test, which is a couple of games that I've prepared. So the first one that we're going to be testing is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, of course, because it's possibly one of my favourite games of all time. So it seems to be peaking at around 69 degrees Celsius, which seems to be not much at all considering that this game is quite CPU intensive. So it's doing really well. So let's go over to the next game. So here is another esports title that's actually quite CPU intensive to run. So I've chucked, whapped everything up to high and now we're just going to play a little game just to see what type of temperatures we're getting in this. CSGO did really well, it peaked at the nearly 70, it was low, uh, sorry, high 60 degrees Celsius range, which was very good actually. So hopefully we can get a similar result within this game as well. It's around 65 degrees Celsius mid game and all the textures and the particles are on the highest settings that they could possibly go. So that's actually a really nice result. So let's finish up play playing the rest of this game and then we can go on to our video rendering test. So now we're in our final test which is the video rendering test and this was the last video that I uploaded about the trike so it's around 5 minutes and we're going to render this at about 1080p at 60fps and just keep an eye on the temperature. So let's change that to 60fps, quality high, 
1080p, lovely jubbly. So we're just going to export this. And then I'm probably just going to speed this up and we could talk about it afterwards. So now that test has been completed, we actually saw a peak temperature of 73 degrees. And again, that's really not bad considering how much under load this CPU is. So let's switch over back to the camera and talk about this a little bit more. The conductive ink really did perform well. And if we go back to the Prime 95 test where we got an average temperature of around 82 degrees, there hasn't been a change. That was the exact same result that we got a couple months ago when we tested it, which means it hasn't improved, nor has it degraded, which is really nice and it's showing it, it, it is really showing its potential. And now if we go to the 3D Mark test, it did really well in that as well. We got an average of about 72 degrees or 73 degrees Celsius, I think, somewhere around there. And that actually <laughs> is really good considering that even that program is quite CPU intensive. And then we went over to the games where we tested two really popular eSports titles. One of them, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and the other one Rocket League and these are both very CPU intensive games obviously you need a good GPU to run them but they do rely on your cores which is quite nice and the CPU performed really well because we didn't see any temperatures go over 70 degrees throughout them little playthroughs which is awesome and then we come over to the video editing um, test that we did that was a five minute video that we rendered in 1080p at 60 FPS whilst keeping an eye on the temperatures and again, that performed really well. So I'm actually quite excited <laughs> about these results because it really, truly does show its potential. And I just think that is awesome. So I'm super excited about that just because I think that this is a really awesome thing. And now I'm definitely going to be thinking about it a lot more just because of them results alone. And I think that the ink is doing a really nice job of calling that CPU. And with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you later.